Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalia. If you're new here, I do sewing and fashion design videos. Today I'm doing a little get ready with me video, but before I get into the video, I want to talk about Dossier. Dossier has these beautiful luxury inspired scents starting at only $29. The packaging is super minimal and you can tell that the fragrance is really high quality. So to compare, here I have Replica by Margiela by The Fireplace. This is one of my favorite perfumes. And I have Woody Chestnut by Dossier. So I'll put on Replica on this hand. It smells really warm and spicy. You can smell the chestnut, vanilla, clove. And here I have the Woody Chestnut. And you can really smell the chestnut, cloves, cedar wood. It's smoky. This is like a warm and spicy scent. They smell really, really similar. I would just say that the Margiela one is maybe a little bit smokier. Both really beautiful. Another one I'm obsessed with is the Floriental Vanilla. This is inspired by YSL Black Opium, which I know everyone is obsessed with. This one also has a warm and spicy smell, but it's definitely more floral. You can smell the jasmine, cedarwood, coffee. It's a very mysterious kind of sultry scent, in my opinion. The next one I tried out is the Gourmand White Flowers, which is inspired by the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. This one is definitely a more intense floral. I would say this is a warm and feminine scent. I feel like you can really smell the rose and the green tea in this one, in my opinion. Plus, their packaging is super minimal, super cute. Go check out Dossier. The link and my discount are in the description down below. All right, into the video. If you've been watching my past fashion design vlogs, you would know that I already went through the design, the finding a factory first prototype, fabric sourcing in Poland and factory visit, and now I finally got my samples back. I got five of them, a dress, skirt, top pants, and the second sample of the snap down shirt. The quality of the sewing was impeccable. It was really on point, but there were a couple issues with fit, but that's to be expected um, when you're getting clothes made. I wanna be a little festive for the new year. My first tip is don't worry if your first sample isn't perfect, that's to be expected. Just make sure that you can articulate um, what changes need to be made in the tech pack. My second tip is to make a cost sheet. A cost sheet is a statement that lists out the various components um, of total costs for a product. Let me show you an example. This free template from Fashionary will list out material, fabric, lining, interfacing, button zipper thread, etc., and packaging. So I did a cost sheet for each one of my samples and I figured out how much everything would cost me. That's super important. Don't skip a cost sheet when you're starting your clothing line. Got that, princess. <coughs> Tip number three is fabric sourcing. So I recommend ordering wholesale in my last fashion design vlog, I went to Poland and I went to different wholesalers and I picked up fabrics there, but um, I just realized that some fabrics didn't work for some of my pieces. For example, the pant fabric that I chose, it ended up being a little bit too sheer. And so I have to go with something else now. My friend who's a fashion designer recommended I try out Swatch On. And Swatch On is an online wholesale fabric resource with low MOQs, a really wide range of fabrics, and they have all these high definition photos and videos of all the fabric swatches. And they'll pick up the swatch, they'll wave it, they'll crinkle it, so you can really get an idea of what that fabric looks like. And 
my friend uses it. She really recommends it. I haven't tried it out yet, but it looks really promising. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Another thing I have to do is finish up the fittings. So my garments, they look good, but they need a couple adjustments here and there. Um, so I gotta work on that. That's the update on my clothing line. Now I wanna talk about some other fun stuff that's been happening. Not too long ago, the associate pr producer from the Drew Barrymore show reached out to me by email, which is really cool. They, She told me that she was looking for um, fashion designers for one episode that was going to be fashion related. We scheduled a phone interview and she told me the filming days, what would be expected of me, and then she interviewed me. She asked me a couple questions about myself. Um, I didn't end up getting the part. Well, honestly, I don't even know if they went with the segment or not. I was almost on the Drew Barrymore show, almost on TV. It didn't happen, but I'm still very grateful to be considered for that kind of opportunity. And I would definitely do something like that in the future if another opportunity arose. I also applied for the Shein X program. So what the Shein X program is, it's this design program that anyone can apply to. You just submit your portfolio. And if you get accepted, you design a collection for Shein and they will produce it, market it, and sell it for you. And you get a cut of the sales. So I think that's really cool. Two of my friends did the Shein X program. I'll show you their clothes here. And they had a really good experience with it. I'm just very interested. I applied because I'm just curious about the process and I'm just interested in it. I know Shein has a little bit of a bad reputation for stealing from small designers, but at the same time, like this is a really good opportunity for small indie designers because it, it takes a lot of money to start a collection and if you can produce a collection through Shein at an accessible price point, then, I mean, it is a good opportunity. Let me know what you guys think. Would you buy a Shein Times Natalia collab? Let me know. I, I haven't heard back yet, so who knows? So, I got my Polish citizenship. I'm officially a Polish citizen. Super, super exciting. I got my citizenship through my mom because she was born in Poland. That's how that happened. I've also been going to Poland a lot recently. I'm actually going back in about two weeks to see family. We're also renovating a house there. My family has a house in Poland. If you follow me on Instagram, sometimes I post some renovation and interior design pics. So if you're interested, you can follow me. This is my Instagram. I won't be moving to Poland, but it's just nice to have a place to stay when I see family. And of course my manufacturer's in Poland, so that's very convenient as well. This is the look so far. My favorite part is always mascara. So, some 2022 goals. I'm really optimistic about 2022. My number one goal is to have health and fitness be my number one priority. I think especially nowadays, it's really important to be healthy. So that's going to be my top priority. My other goal is to launch my clothing line, finally. It's a slow pro process, but I'm already halfway there, maybe more than halfway there. So I'm really excited. I want to post more consistently on YouTube. That's a big goal. Sometimes I'll get DMs saying like, when's your next video? And I'm like, I know. So I want to post more consistently on YouTube and on TikTok. I wanna reach 100,000 followers on YouTube. I really want that plaque. I really do. And 100,000 on TikTok would be amazing as well. I deleted TikTok off my phone for a little bit because I felt like it was just melting my brain, but I'll get back into it and posting fashion content. 
I want to grow and expand my PDF pattern business. That's a big one. Um, I'm actually working on a skirt pattern right now. It's a simple skirt with a slit because I know those are trending everywhere right now and they're really easy to wear. So that's the next pattern. And my last goal, I don't know if this is a little ridiculous or not, but <laughs> I want to be a Yelp elite a reviewer. My friend said her brother is a Yelp elite and he gets invited to new restaurant openings and like random events and stuff. So I thought that was just like kind of cool. So I, if you want to follow me on Yelp, <laughs> feel free. Let me know what your 2022 goals are. I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like the look. This is my everyday makeup look and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.